Okay, in this video I will demonstrate how to go and make a simple 3D object in 3D Max. Uh, for this example, I am choosing to go and create a teacup with a saucer uh, as an example for this context. So we have this four quadrants here with the top view, with the front view, and with the perspective view, and here uh, we have the left side view. So I'm choosing this quadrant here, which, which is the front view, and I'm gonna go and toggle it and maximize it. So here we have this, uh, this view here. This is the front view. And so let's begin uh, to go and make that simple 3D object. Uh, to be able to do that, you see here the standard primitives. Under standard primitives, um, the geometry. Uh, let's go to the shapes actually. So when you go to the shapes, um, you have the line. So from the splines, you go and select the line. And we would want to see, um, well, I'll talk about this later, enable in rendering, enable in viewpoint later. But now I selected the line. So after selecting the line, I'm just going to go and make a basic shape. Look at that. So I went something like that. Then again, I click, and to get the curve, I'll go and click and drag. So that's how I got the curve. Slowly, I'll move inward, and then I just have the line there, All right? So let's go. Try to keep it as straight as you can. See? That's it. Okay, so once I've done that, I'll press escape and we just have a line here. And let's see how you're gonna go and form a cup from that line there. So after selecting that, so let's go here into the modify section. Under the modify section, you look at the line there and you go to the modifier list. Okay, so in the modifier list, let's go and select this option here, which is light. So when we click on light, this is how this shape is formed here. It doesn't look anything like a teacup now, but by modifying a few parameters in the modifier list, it should be showing you a cup. So let's go here. So at the moment, it's showing you the minimum alignment. From the center alignment, it's going to look like that. But from the maximum alignment, now we could see a cup kind of a shape forming there. So, but still, we, we still have to go and do a few more things. And I'm gonna show you that now. From the same modifier list, let's go now to look at the shell option. Okay, when you go and look at the shell option, when you click on the shell option, it creates an outer and inner shell for your cup. So let's go here and increase the inner and outer shell amount. So the inner amount I'll increase by about that much and 0 0.05. And the outer amount I will go and increase by about that much. So I've, come, I've done the shell as well. So now let's go and see the solid view of our cup. Look at that, that's a gigantic cup. And this is what I was talking about. So if you're gonna go and look at the inner and outer amount, so let's say we want the inner amount to be two. Let's make it two. Look at that, now it's become thick. And we can even go with three. Yep, so that's it. So now let's go here. But that cup is quite uh, large in size. So I'm gonna go select the cup now and make it smaller as much as I can. In order to do that, I'll select this uniform scale tool and look at that. In the middle, you can see the triangle. So if you're gonna use that, that's the same triangle as this triangle here. It's gonna uniformly scale down the cup. But if I'm gonna use the Y, it only is gonna uh, go and resize the cup uh, in the Y coordinate or Y coordinates. 
and um, if similarly when I go and use the X, it's going to squeeze the cup. That's not what we wanted. We wanted it to be uniformly made smaller. So let's make the cup smaller. And now let's zoom in a little bit. We wanted this cup right in the middle. So I push the move tool here, select and move. And now I'll select it and I'll hold the X and I'll move it to the center. So it's right in the center now. Excellent. So let's go again and maximize this viewpoint here. And I will go and pan the view a bit so that right sitting in the right in the middle of the screen. So there we go. That's our cup. But now we need to go and make a decent handle for our cup. Again, we use the same. But before we do that, I wanted to get the saucer part done. So once we do the saucer part, let's go and do the handle. So to do the saucer part, again, I take the line. And this time I click somewhere here. Then again, look at that. Something like that. Then again. Yep. So then now, if I stop, if I want to stop with the line, I'll simply say escape. And if I wanted to go and modify this line a bit, I can do that as well. So let's go here, look at the vertex. So select that and you can either move it. Yep, so look at that. So I just tried to move the vertex and that's how I moved it. Okay, so I just modified that. Let's go here from the modifier list. Again, the same thing we go with first with the light. I, J, K, L, M, and O. So there we go, the light. And that's how it formed that particular shape. That's not what we wanted. We wanted it from the maximum, but yet again, we wanted it to lay from here. So let's go here. Let's actually not choose anything except um, we'll choose the entire line. See, that's the problem. So let's move the Okay, now let's go here and then say with the modifier list. Let's say late, that's how it formed it. But then we will go and modify it from here. We'll say max. There we go. We got a saucer there, but we're going to go and do lots of modification to that. Now, I'm going to move that saucer away from there. I'm going to put it on the top for my convenience for now. But the second thing that we wanted to go and do with the modifier list is we wanted to create a shell, okay, to increase the thickness. So I'll go with the shell. That's massive amount. Let's go the inner shell. Let's make it 0 0.2. Yep, that'll do. And the outer shell, we'll just make it 0 point five so that you can see the inner shell and the outer shell the size of the saucers um, the height of the saucer is too big so what i'm going to do here i'm going to resize this is what i was talking about this time i just wanted to decrease the height so i select only the y axis and then decrease its height rather than going with the uniform scale see so look at that so i squeezed it a bit down so trying trying to make it a little bit flatter. So we're pretty much done with the saucer now, but we need to go and put it in place. To be able to do that, again, we go to the, we go to the move tool and we move it to the X. We move the X and then we move the Y slowly and carefully and it's sitting in place now. Let's go and look at in our, this view here. Look at that. Okay, I think that's a too big for a saucer. 
So what we will do is we'll make it a little bit smaller. And again, we use the uniform scale tool and we go something like that. Then again, we can go and move the X carefully so that the cup is placed right in the middle. Okay, there we go. Excellent. So now let's go here and maximize this viewpoint here. And see, you got the cup there and you got the saucer there, except there's a problem. We don't, ah, oh, the cup is actually sticking out. So we'll just move the cup a bit higher so that it's not, yep, it's, it's there. Okay, cool, cool. Now we'll just change this color. I will keep that color. I like that color. So let's go here and change this color to lighter color. So we got the cup there and we got the saucer there. So now let's go and make the handle, which is again going to be fairly easy. This time I go with the line. Um, I'll go back to this view here and the front view, except I wanted the wireframe view. So now I go here with the line and I'm gonna go and make the handle for my cup. So I'll click, click and drag, then again, click and drag carefully. Again, click and drag. Something like that, and I press escape. Now, we are nearly done. So during this time, this is what when I said to you at the beginning, I was gonna talk about the rendering. Only for this line here, I'm gonna say enable and render enable in viewport. So when I said enable in viewport, see that the thickness is actually one, it actually shows itself thick, right? That's, the, that's what I was talking to you about. So now I will slowly move this a bit inward there, yep. And actually change the size of the X, something like that. Now, I'll go and change the color to this color as well, lighter pink. And now let's go and look in this view here. So there we go. That's it. A simple 3D model created in about under 15 minutes. So you got the cup there and you got the saucer there. I know that the handle is sticking out a little bit, so but that's all right. So you got the base there for the saucer and you can actually go and apply different textures to it. Go and apply different textures to it. So um, that's what it is all about. So you can go and change the color of the cup if you wanted to. Just go select it and change, change it to your favorite color. Say this green here. Uh, push OK. And again, change the color to this green here. Push OK. And you got this green color here. So one simple meaningful model